Hi guys, it's my favourite time of the month. We are doing yet another Organisation 13 event. As you can see, I'm uh, still completely free to play. No VIP has ever been bought on this account, so let's jump right into it, see if we can't pass. Number 7, Sykes, which has 11 days left. Doesn't it usually only have a week? Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, um, I have sort of took a quick peek at the final event of... Sorry, the final mission of the Japanese version of this event. Uh, which seemed to have the condition to defeat all enemies without continuing. I don't know if that's the same for everything, but I just thought, okay, preemptively I'm going to make a setup which involves basically just tanking everything we can tank, hopefully, just trying to survive. Uh, so what I've got here is my Aerial and Flander with Second Chance on it. Obviously you guys can use any buff you like as long as it has, preferably with Second Chance on it, because I think we're going to die here. Uh, not, not immediately, but towards the end. Uh, I've got my Kyrie for gauge restores because we're definitely gonna oops, we're definitely gonna need to restore gauges because of this guy right here. Um, I got a Pluto B and mine luckily, very luckily, was able to roll extra attack on it. Uh, so what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me uh, four tiers of power based defense. If you don't have extra attack on a Pluto, um, and potentially if you rolled for um, uh, if you picked up one of those copycat medals uh, that we just had, the new key arts, you could put. Just, let's have a look. You could put Pluto here and have a copycat medal here um, and you would get the plus four power based defense. I could obviously get myself up to plus six if I put if I put a copycat medal here, but I thought um, I'll try and see if like just one tier of regular defense will make a difference as, as opposed to six layers of power based defense. Anyway, we're still a ways off from that. We still actually get to pass the content. Um, I've got Namine at the back there just to do some damage with hopefully a strong um, magic friend metal that I can pick up. And also because she costs zero gauges because this setup is surprisingly expensive. It's got three cost here, two cost, two cost here, that's right, so five already. Three and then three, so 11. I'm going to get 10 back from Kairi, so we're at negative one so far, plus whatever friend metal I'm going to use. It's a surprisingly expensive setup, so hopefully we'll be alright. Anyway. Let's get into it. Okay, so number one is going to be just one... Well, I don't actually know <laughs> if it's going to be just one werewolf. Um, in terms of magic-based metals I can borrow... Oof, nearly got a Gilted Terranaut there. I could potentially use a KH2... Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I could potentially use a KH2 Kairi. Um, just because of the increased survivability that will give me. But we'll see. Okie dokie do. So we're in Cinderella's world, nothing behind us, and just complete it without continuing. Okay, so this one can take 50 hits, only level 25, nothing to worry about. So that counter being blue means that it's uh, hits it can take, um, not attacks it can survive. So you guys probably don't have a Halloween Sora unless you were playing in October of last year. Um, like I said, it's kind of there just because it'll give me a little bit more defense and a little bit more offense. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have to turtle um, the final round of these enemies, so... Cool. 20 jewels, so hopefully we're going to get 260 jewels for doing this whole lot, which would be very nice. Alright, let's pause till the next one. Okay, I'll talk about it... Oof, level 50 already, and only... Only stage 2. I'll talk about it more when we get there, for more different setups we could use, but... If you picked up IVV, obviously you're going to want to switch around my setup completely, just because obviously you don't want your buffer to be at the very front here when it's just going to be going to waste by the time you get to your strong metals in the back. Okay, so this one takes 50 hits again. Uh, obviously not going to bother using Pluto here just because it doesn't really help us out too much. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you don't have a HD Nominate, that's totally fine. Um, just use whatever strong magic metal you have in the back and try and borrow a strong magic metal, I guess. That's all I can really say. <laughs> but again, we don't really need any strategy until we get to the more difficult stages, so we'll talk about those when we get there. All right, let's pause. So let me get those jewels first. Mm. Okay, so here comes our first Sykes medal, uh, the first five-star one for defeating the level 75 werewolf. So nothing's really going to change with the strategy, just keep firing away at it. Um, eventually, again, eventually, he will <laughs> actually do some damage to us when we can't one-turn it, but we should be alright for now. Okay, so here comes the first slight element of strategy where uh, if we don't kill these things immediately, it's going to heal up the werewolf. Fortunately, 
they're still weak enough for we can one turn them, but I predict that will change before too long. Goodness me, he's already got a fair bit of health for a level 75 enemy. It's no problem, of course, for a HDS a lot, but still. I'm worried about what it could be. In the Japanese version, the final set of enemies was level 500. So, will they nerf them for us? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, but we all know what's happened in the past, don't we? Hey, there we go. So, our very first Sykes B Metal. I'm going to take a quick pause here to actually find out what it does, because I, I didn't even look what it does. I wanted to be surprised. So, let's cut to looking at the metal. Holy crap. Wow. It's a random attack. What is that? It does more damage when more gauges are full. Good lord, that is a hell of a multiplier. Jesus Christ. 5.93. And it isn't even gilted. It isn't even 6 star. Jesus Christ. So, just a regular one copy of it is already over 6 before it's even gilted. Holy shit. Okay, well, for proud mode, when we eventually get random target quests, this is going to be very helpful. Yeah, it costs 5 gauges, but still, Jesus Christ. It looks... Mm, looks kind of cool as well. I mean, he's... Looks like his back's really kinked. How's his neck doing that? Because <laughs> he's not... He's, uh, I can't do it with only a tiny little window, but anyway, let's get back to the mission. <laughs> Uh -oh. And it's unlocked an avatar board as well. I'm doing this right on 3 o'clock, by the way, so... A bunch of new craps come out. Oh, we'll talk about that stuff later. Let's do the part 4 of the Sykes event, and then we'll check out what's in the avatar board. Which could be something that it's going to help us out if we can't complete it, so... Because that looks like maybe a second chance in there, maybe. Alright, level 100 werewolf. Sorry, we got very distracted just then. <laughs> Man, over a 6.0 6 multiplier. And that's not even, like with any special attack increase at all. That could get up to, what, 6.5? It's mm, not 7, but still ridiculously high. Okay, this one's single target, so if you're worried about crowd control for mission 4, you can just go, okay. Oops. Uh, I'm just going to focus on my single target. Mm, maybe I should have attacked there. Uh, no I shouldn't worry about it, because Namine's still <laughs> taking the crap all over him. Yeah, HD Ursula is such a powerful metal, guys. I'm very fortunate that one of my party members is able to share a gilded copy for me. Very happy about that. Man, it's already getting pretty tricky at uh, only part 4 out of 13. <laughs> Hopefully we can all pass this one. I really hope we can all pass it and have a pretty strong random target medal, which can be used as, as a single target medal. I mean, the only problem is that it costs 5 gauges, but still. You know, you could do what you did with... If you guys all bought those gem avatar boards, you probably got a few copies of, you know, Attack Boost 3 Max plus SP2 sitting around, so this could be a pretty good candidate for it. Um, if you're able to roll either ground or aerial based defense as its trait, um, it'd be pretty good as well. Man, so the, uh, the paired enemies that come with it are pretty, pretty laughable, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that was barely even worth... Yeah, there's absolutely almost no point using the special attack on Pluto just because it only deals 1.5 of what you would deal by tapping anyway. And for three gauges, it's certainly not worth it. Obviously, the main factor of it is that you want to get the uh, defensive benefits from it. But if you're going to kill it in one turn anyway, there's almost no point tapping. Okay, there we go. Part five, pretty simple so far. Um, but again, we all know what can happen towards the end. Let me just skip to the next one for you guys. Oh boy, we're already at level 200 at part 6. That's kind of worrying. <laughs> um, I just slapped a defense boost 2 on my Pluto at the start of these quests, and it's already leveled up once, so... There's a pretty good experience for leveling up your skills, these kind of quests here, because you're dealing with pretty decent leveled enemies, so... Yeah. It's just a thought. Okay. Oh my... I hate these guys with such a passion, these pieces of... Mmm. He's going to try to put me to sleep, isn't he? Actually, he's holding a snake. Does that mean he's going to be like a poison type enemy? Let's find out. So he's going to attack me now. And poison me. Called it. Called it. Well, that makes it makes sense. You know, he's got a snake in his hand instead of like whatever that other thing was. Okay, I'm going to try and use my Nova here and hopefully take out that Giga Shadow. Yep, so I don't have to worry about him at all. I can just focus on... Our mate here. Oh, he's actually going to survive. There we go. Okay, so 
At level 200 for me, he survived the first time. Oh, only just though. If I used Pluto, maybe I could have killed him. Okay, so this is the power of plus four uh, magic based, uh, power based defense, sorry. So, so I had plus four defense and I had plus one general defense. No, I didn't, sorry. I only had plus two power based defense and I had plus one general defense. And the level 200 did about half my health. But then again, I also had um, uh, defense boost two trigger a couple times. So power based defense boosters are going to be a huge factor here. Um, if anyone in your party has a uh, Pluto with extra attack, it doesn't have to be six stars. It doesn't have to, well, it could be five, whatever. Again, you're not using it for the damage. So a Pluto B with extra attack is going to help you out so much, I'm pretty sure. But we'll see when we get to the harder stuff. All right. If you guys are already struggling at this point, I don't blame you, because, again, that HD Ursula is putting in so much work for me, so... <laughs> I hope you guys are going to be alright. Okay, same again, single target again, so... Uh, bring all your most powerful single target medals, and fire away. Again, because I've got Ursula sitting in the back, she's doing all this work for me, so I don't even have to... Really don't have to worry about it, but... Okay, so I'm probably going to... Okay, so he's going to retaliate here. Oh man, this, this Ursula's only got attack boost 2. I would love it if it uh, got attack boost 4 or something. So he's going werewolf mode. He's going to take a shit all over me. Defense boost 2 triggered a lot there, but I do have two of them. Oh, okay. There we go. First time. First time I actually died, and I'm only in part 8, is it? Okay, let's try that again, but actually use two lots of power-based defense. Because I only used Pluto B once there. Let's try it again. Okay, so we're at part, or only at part 7 and I've already died once, wowie wow, okay, this is going to be doable I think, I hope, but pretty freaking tricky, um, I've only got second chance 1, like I have a copy of second chance 2, but I haven't actually put it on anything, because I'm kind of saving it for 0.2 Kyrie, so, hopefully we can do this without having to uh, burn a copy of second chance 2, let's find out. Okay, so we're going to use both copies of Pluto B there. Again, I've got Defense Boost 2 on my Kyrie, Defense Boost 2 on my, Don uh, my Pluto. So, it is triggering fairly often. Um, hopefully, that's appropriate to you guys as well. Hopefully, you can I don't know, make some use of that. Defense Boost 2 skills are given out pretty freaking often. Like Colosseum, you get one every month. I've got about five sitting there that I just haven't used. So, Okay, wow. That's the difference it makes. He's going to attack me now. Okay, Defense Boost 2 triggered literally every single hit then. If not every single, then almost every hit. That was, that was very, very lucky. But even then, it only did a thousand damage to me combined. So, yeah, plus four, plus four power based defense is a, definitely something to have, guys. Um, so again, either use Pluto B and a copycat metal, or have a friend use Pluto B with extra attack. Again, we can get past part 7 pretty easy, but <laughs> we'll see what happens when we get to part 12, 13. We may even need to get up to plus 6. Okay, next part continued. I'll see you in part 8. Okay, so for our third Sykes medal, here we go. Uh, part 8, level 250 werewolf. 300, 350, 400, 450. It's going to be 500, isn't it? The final one. Good lord. Okay, two Wyverns. Shout out to Wyvern from my Discord chat. Alright, here we go. So, hopefully my Nova can take him out, but it might not, actually. It might not. Let's find out. It might just survive. Nope. Oh, yeah, they did. Okay, so we'll use Pluto here. We're probably going to have to use Pluto B every time from now on, just to ensure that we survive, but... Yeah, because he's definitely going to survive all these hits, for sure. So he's going to go werewolf mode on us here, which is a really, really cool, <laughs> really cool look. And luckily we can survive it because we're at plus. Yeah. Defense boost 2 is triggering like mad. I love it. Again, that's what happens when you have two copies of the skill, I guess. But. So we're not going to bother using Pluto here because we don't need to because Namine is going to do all the work for me. Again, if you don't have Namine, um, a strong single target magic medal, 
Classic Donald with negative 60 ground based, um, yeah, negative 60 ground trait is going to help you out quite a lot here, I think. Again, I'm using my counterpoint, but um, I mean, Divine Rose with Zigbar B would be quite useful, I think. Um, any of the copycat medals, really, if you have like one quite strong premium that you've pulled and you've got a gilted copycat medal. I think you do pretty well. Um, we'll talk about more strategies as I get to the final boss because I don't know what it's going to be yet. So, All right, the hairstyle. Okay, number nine, level 275 for the hairstyle. Oh, okay. Level 275. So every other time it was jumping by 50 levels except for the start. Now it's only jumps by 25, which is kind of nice. <laughs> All right, back to... I oh, know not single target, so... Okay, I'm lucky with the fact that I have my Namine, meaning that I can copy a single target attack and also use a single target attack with the Ursula itself. So again, I'm just going to use all my specials. Why not? I'll use... Well, I'll use the Nova. It's not going to kill it, though, so... I may as well use Namine to take out the Ringleader, Ringmaster, whatever it's called. Whoop! Whatever it's called. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And just fire off a hit on the werewolf. Which means it's not going to be... There you go. If you guys have an extra attack, Cinderella and Jack, that's a really, really good medal as well. Um, or Cinderella and Fairy Godmother, if you were able to get multiple trait rolls on that medal. Um, Cinderella and Jack is like a staple on pretty much all my Keyblades, but... If you need that little bit extra defense. Whoopsie daisies. Okay, why did that happen? Oh, okay, so that happened because I was only at plus two power-based defense. I didn't time that properly because he got to retaliate uh, when I wasn't ready for it. Okay, I think about that a bit more smart. Okay, <laughs> let's get back into it. Okay, let's try this again. So one, two... Sort of keep an eye on his hit counter, so he's got 12 hits left. If I don't use Pluto again here and I instead tap on him, I should have one free hit for net. Oh crap, which <laughs> I chose the wrong friend medal. I was looking at this friend medal because someone had put a second chance on their um on their key up medal, and I went, oh, why did they do that for? <laughs> sorry guys. Okay, sorry, try that again. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I said, I was going through my medal list thinking like, oh, has anything else shown up in the list? And yeah, I saw that um that key art there with a <laughs> extra uh, with second chance on it. And not not to be made, I was just thinking like, oh, it's an interesting choice for a second chance medal, but <laughs> I must have accidentally selected it. Okay, so hopefully at plus two and plus one we can survive his his hit now. We did, but second chance really helped us out a lot there, so. Okay, just gotta be real careful that we get up to. We will, okay, because these are all single single hit medals. We're gonna get up to plus four power based defense and plus one general defense on the retaliation, which is good. We're gonna get all those hits for free because the counter's already at zero. He's gonna go werewolf mode. Yeah, that's the difference plus four makes, honestly. I would recommend plus four over it. Like the general defense seems to do almost nothing. The plus four power defense is absolutely where it's at. Very, very powerful. Okay, so he's got eight bars of health left. We're almost done. Oof. Multiple defense boost twos. Good lord. Very, very useful. Okay, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. I'll use these special attacks just for safety. I shouldn't Shouldn't need them, but just for safety, we'll use them. Okay. I probably could have fired off a Nova there for free, just because he had five hits left on the counter, and this HD Ursula does five hits, meaning that he was going to retaliate after the Namine no matter what. But I could have gotten in a free Nova Blast there. I'll try and remember that for later on. When to strategically use your Nova or not. Okay. Hey, we've got the hairstyle and 20 more jewels. Let's get into part 10. Okay, part 10 is a 300 werewolf, so it's <laughs> definitely not slowing down. Okay, if it goes up by 25 every time, 325, 350, 375, maybe it'll cap out at 400 for our version, like the global version, that'd be kind of nice. But we'll see when we get there, huh? Alrighty, part 
10. Here we go, part 10. So, same again. It's a single target. Wow, with a very, very, very low counter. So, we need to get up to plus 4 power base defense as quickly as possible. Fire off that Nova, because again, it's free. His hit counter is down to 4 now. And then it gets to 0. Then he retaliates. He doesn't start. He doesn't get any bonus hits on it. If that makes sense. Again, plus 4 power base defense just makes a mockery of him, even at this high level. So... Okay, so he's got... Wow, still, Jesus Christ, 21 bars of HP left. Why was only a plus 3 power base defense then? Maybe he lowered me by one stage? Okay, so we're going to make sure we get up to plus 4 before he retaliates. And we're only just going to make it now. 1, and finally 2. Honestly, guys, if you had a copycat medal, and you had an extra attack Pluto, I would probably recommend that over over this Halloween Sora that I've got here. He's going to retaliate twice in one turn. Well, again, luckily we have plus four. Okay, look at me. I'm only at plus three power base defense right now. So whenever he retaliates, he must lower me down a stage. Yeah, he does, because I'm only at plus three now. He's going to attack again now. Crap. Yep, second chance. Shit. <laughs> okay, so... What have we learnt? He's going to lower my power base defense every time he retaliates. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, which means I'm going to... going to use a copycat medal and get up to plus six. So we're definitely going to survive. Alright, be right back. Okay, so I've got this key art beginning here that I'm going to put where Halloween Sora used to be. I can guilt it. Because uh, I did one final pull to make sure that I could guilt it. Which is why I've got so little jewels right now. Uh... I kind of want to, but I kind of don't want to at the same time because you guys might not have a guilted, a guilted key up. Yeah, you know what? I won't bother. I would just boost it up to level 100. So we get all that defense out of it. Yeah, so we get an extra few points of defense. Just optimize prime it. And of course, I'm going to get a great level up or a wonderful level up here and get extra experience that I don't need anymore. Right, it didn't happen for once. Okay, so we get a, a fully leveled up, but not guilted key art beginning here, so hopefully you guys can use that as well. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, here we go. Part 10 again. All right, so that's the current setup if you guys want to check it out. Um, again, if you have Illustrator VV, you want to put it more at this end here and put your defense boosters later on. Uh, sorry, defense boosters earlier on. Um, because obviously Illustrator VV... <coughs> oh, obviously Illustrator VV will only boost you for three attacks, so... Okay, here we go. Let's try again. So again, he's only a single target. Um, oh god. Got a really sore throat. Sorry, guys. Okay, so that only did 7,000 damage, which isn't great, but, hey, at least we're going to be able to, able to survive. So, again... Fire off the free Nova, because why not? It'll be a little bit weaker this time around, because I don't have my um, Halloween Sora giving me that attack boost. But, you know what? Why am I only at plus three power based defense? Did I not use one of the... Pluto attacks? Oh, am I an idiot and copying the wrong metal with Key Art? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an idiot. I was just like, ah, oh, copycat metal. Like Nominee, right? It just sits uh, before the metal you want to copy. I forgot that I have to switch the order around. Okay, <laughs> try again. Pluto B. Pluto B. And then, then the copycat metal, which is now Pluto B again. Thank you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, we're at plus six power base defense. Hooray, that's exactly where we want to be. He's going to do absolutely nothing to us, which is the way we want it to be. Beautiful. Chop, 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 chop. Excellent. Okay. All right, so it's going to take a little bit longer this time because we don't have the offensive benefits of uh, Halloween Sora. But you know what? We're going to survive. That's all that really matters. So, one, two... And three is going to sit us perfectly at plus six as he goes to retaliate, which means 
You unlock us down to plus five, but it, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're still very, very powerful. Uh, I'm going to fire off a cheeky Nova here, because again, we get it for free. Because he's already at plus five, uh, five hits left, now he's at four. And this is going to knock him down to zero. It's not going to roll him down to negative one, it's going to roll him down to zero. So, Okay, we have 15 bars left. He's going to retaliate and then attack again. So we're at plus four when he does his actual end of turn attack, which is going to be... Yeah, even if no defense boost two triggers triggered there, uh, we would have been perfectly fine to survive. Which is good, which is what we want. Um, again, if you have Cinderella and Jack, um, the buffs that it gives you last two turns, I'm not sure the priority of the buffs though. Like, if when he goes to retaliate, is it taking away from... Like, would your buffs last two turns? I have to experiment on that, actually. Because it might be worth using a double cast Cinderella and Jack rather than copying a Pluto B. Um, if the buffs last more than one turn. Okay, still not enough. We're almost there, though. Yeah, he retaliates. Excellent. Plus three attack. Um, he's going to retaliate before I get to do my actual attack, so I'm going to have to buff with these guys here. I don't have to buff with all three, but I may as well. Again, if I didn't if I didn't buff up there and just tapped to get to my final attacks, uh, I could have died from his retaliation. So, and with that, we've done it. We've cleared quest ten. <laughs> Me being an idiot aside and putting my medals in the wrong place, but quest ten is done. Okay. I like these ones where they're a challenge, but you can do them. I don't like the ones where it's like, you know, Zexion B. You know, have all these insanely powerful enemies and the guy that puts you to sleep. Oh, and you only have two turns to do it. I like the ones where we can all do it if we think about what we're doing. Um, I seriously think if, if anyone shares a Pluto B with you, with extra attack, you should be able to do this. No matter how... Mm, no matter how new of a player you are. Mm, that's maybe a bit much of a statement, but... No, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Level 325, was it? Hopefully we can do this one too. Okay, three... Wah! I hate defenders. Or whatever these guys are. Armored assholes, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so they are definitely not playing around. We're going to have to be as strong as we possibly can be for these guys. So, plus six could be just a recommendation. Um, not a suggestion. <laughs> Okay, what are we going to do? Do we want to try and take out the two little guys first? Because I know they have pretty powerful hits. So, all right. Let's try and take out one of these armored pricks first. There we go. Try and take out the second one. We're going to be careful, though, because he's only got four hits left in him. And we need to buff up. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. So he survives. Yeah, doesn't matter. Again, plus six power-based defense. You're pretty right to go. Okay, so we're going to be real careful here. Because we only get three hits left on him. Uh, so we're only going to get up to plus four before he retaliates. And then he's going to knock us down to plus three. So hopefully at plus four we can survive his retaliation. Yeah. Well, again, defense boost two helped a lot there. But it still only, only took off a thousand of my overall health. Um, meaning that... Yeah, we would have been totally safe there. I'm going to use uh, Namine here because Namine actually hurts more than Ursula. Somehow. Um, and I'm going to use... Yeah, Ursula to finish off this defender guy here. Armor prick. Okay, so he's down. And now we're just going to work on this guy. Okay. Again, his retaliation hurts, but at plus five... It's fine. <laughs> so same again. We're only going to get up to plus four here. But, again, it should be all that we need. Because the defense boost two is going to trigger quite a lot. Okay, so Defense Boost 2 triggered four times there out of however many hits he actually does, and it was still more than enough for us to live. He is going to retaliate again this time though, but we've actually got it back up to plus five, so it's fine. Alright, you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about freaking werewolves by now. <laughs> um, there should be a new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer this weekend at the D23 Expo, and usually I don't allow myself to get excited for this kind of thing, just because... Well, I don't know. It's easier to get not hyped and be pleasantly surprised than be hyped and be disappointed if your expectations aren't met. But 
they're hyping this one up to all hell. You know, they're talking about, ooh, boo, boo, boo. Come and check out the new trailers, the new gameplay for, you know, Battlefront 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, Spider-Man, I think. So, you know, they're pretty excited about it. So, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully. It's going to be live streamed and hopefully, the, hopefully there's not a person talking over it. Especially a person that doesn't know what the hell Kingdom Hearts is. Oh, that's Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Who's that guy? Who's this chick with the black hair? <laughs> Alright, so, again, we're going to get perfectly our buffs timed so that uh, we're going to land on plus six as he retaliates, meaning it's going to do nothing. Beautiful. And HD Nomine should be able to take him out. Again, my nominee's only got plus two. Uh, sorry, attack boost two. Doesn't have attack boost four or anything crazy like that yet. Uh, if I ever get a, I don't know, attack boost four and lux plus or whatever, max metal, I'll probably chuck it on the nominee. But yeah, I didn't have any skills I wanted to use on it for now. So Okay, guys, we're getting there. Part 11 done. Get another Sykes, which is pretty nice. Hopefully, I still have storage. Hopefully. <laughs> Come on, game. Come on. Let's pause it. Okay, level 350 werewolf for quest number 12. Which is good, because that means it's not going to jump up to 500 by the time we get the 13, which is very nice. Okay. <sighs> Fuck this game. <laughs> okay, so we have a sleep, a paralysis, and a poison archer for quest 12. Why? Why? <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. I hate the sleep ones. Alright, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We really, we really need those buffs. Um, those defensive buffs. So I guess I'm already at pretty much full gauges. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> it's going to be really, really satisfying when I take the son of a bitch out, by the way. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Poison's the least the thing we have to worry about the least, right? Because it doesn't interrupt any of our attacks. So, if I tap this guy here now, he poisons me. Defense boost tree triggers. If I activate Pluto here, he can't poison me again though, right? I mean, I'm already poisoned, so... This might be one of those ones where I like crawl through until all the enemies are dead, until all the archers are dead. And then, then we get to attack. All right, let's fire off Pluto here and just see what happens. So we're definitely gonna go to sleep. Definitely gonna be paralyzed. So we're gonna lose three attacks. Okay, but now we get to attack with Ursula. So um, plus three offense right now. I could fire off the Nova. And then the poison guy's gonna retaliate. And then I could use Ursula on this guy right here and hopefully take him out. Nope. Haha, <laughs> shit. That would have been good if Ursula was more powerful. Alright, so I'm asleep. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whew. That sucked. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's think about this. Alright, let me have a think. Okay, so as much as I love Wyvern's um, HD Ursula there, I'm going to have to switch over to something else to take out those freaking ground units. Um, and I'm hoping Dark Riku is going to be the trick, because this particular Dark Riku gives me more HP for one, and also gives me ground enemy defense reduction, which is what every enemy in this stage, I think in this entire mission, is. So, I'm going to borrow, yeah, Monde Sora's. HD, uh, sorry, Dark Riku. Unless there's anything else that grabs my eye real quick. I don't think so. No, okay. Let's roll with uh, HD Re uh, Dark Riku and see if we can't take out those sleeping bricks. Because if we can take those guys out, then it's fine. Then the mission is as it always was. We just attack... Um, we just attack the Wolfie guy with... Shit, the frame rate's getting bad. Sorry, guys. We attack Wolfie with our plus six defense, and we just turtle him down. Like, eventually, we'll get there. So, again, if I use Pluto here, it's going to send me all the way through to Dark Riku, right? So, let's do it. Because I'm going to be sent to sleep and be paralyzed. 
and I'm going to skip all the way down to Riku. Okay, so we're going to fire off our Nova here, and we're going to hope beyond hopes that... Oh, okay, I'm par I poisoned again. We're going to hope now that Riku's going to save us, basically. Beautiful. Okay, Riku's taking out all the ground units, and the Wolf is the only guy left. So now what we need to do is survive the Retaliation, Poison, and his actual attack. That was a no. We didn't survive any of that. <laughs> Bugger me. This is going to be tricky. It's that sleep. Sleep really takes a shit all over us. Um, hmm. Okay, let me think. <laughs> okay, so I've done exactly the same this time. Um, by that I mean I've just used... Uh, used Aerial and Flounder. Aerial and Flounder. Tapped with Kyrie. And I'm going to have to use Pluto again, but I'm not going to use my Nova because HD Riku deals exactly 8 hits. Meaning that... Ah, oh shit, it doesn't matter. Damn, I thought I was going <laughs> to be a bit more clever than that. Damn it. Okay, if I use Riku without using Nova, does it take everyone out? It doesn't take out Paralysis Guy. Shit. Goodness me, that's so powerful. It doesn't, yeah, even if I get revived by second chance, it doesn't matter because poison's still going to kill me. So what if I don't get poison to attack me? What if I get... No, poison's always going to attack me. Poison will always affect me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm just going to test out if on counterpoint, uh, Maleficent B will just be able to take him out. So I don't even really care what my, what my friend medal is. I'm just going to test out if... In two attacks, we can take out all the archers. I hope we can. I hope we can. That'd be very, very, very nice if we could. Okay, here we go. I'm kind of concerned that we won't be able to. Even if we can just take out the sleepy guy, that'd be really nice. No, shit. Okay, so if if we had negative 60% ground on our Maleficent B, maybe. But I was at plus three just then. And I had... Attack boost 3 max, and it really didn't even do close to enough. That's a shame. Okay. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> okay, so I was just thinking, man, if I had like an illustrated KH1 Kyrie, I could manipulate um, their retaliation numbers a lot easier. And then I realized, oh wait, I've actually got a piglet here, uh, which is obviously not quite as powerful as Ariel and Flounder, but it would still could potentially let me not trigger sleep earlier, and therefore get up to plus four a bit easier, so... Which setup do I want it on? I want it on this setup, don't I? Okay. Alright, let's try it again. One more time. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. Sorry, just had a few uh, technical issues there for a bit, but... Let's give it a go. Okay, so what are we going to do this time? We want to make sure he doesn't retaliate to where at least plus four power-based defense. And we want to try and avoid sleep wherever possible. Okay, so poison's the least of our concerns, I think. So we'll try that. Um, we're going to have to get poison pretty much immediately, so... Okay. We might have the problem, though, that if he puts us to sleep... What if we just tap through here? What if we just tap on... Ah. <laughs> this is tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. What if we just tap on everything? Until we get to... Let's try that. So let's tap on the poison guy, making sure we tap on just the poison guy. He keeps retaliating and poisoning us back. Tap him again. Uh, is Namine going to be more powerful than Riku? Oh, let's experiment. No, the answer is no. Well, unless my, um... Hang on, we may actually survive this turn. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. As if, Damien. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's try that again with, with Riku at the back. Uh, being used, not Namine. Actually, it's better if we use Riku anyway, because if we did kill everything with Namine, we would have used eight attacks on the werewolf and then be forced to tap on him with Riku, 
Many he would have retaliated. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like this, you know? It's like, we. I feel like I can do it. But it's a bit tricky, you know? At least there's no two-turn requirement. Of course, if you guys have sleep, um, sleep resistance on any of your medals, then that's a pretty good way of surviving. Alright, I'm poisoned. We know this. Okay, I'm going to use... I'm going to use Pluto here. And then I'm going to unfortunately have to tap with him or else I'll be put to sleep. I'm going to tap yet again on him and again and be poisoned for the third time. But now when I use Riku, A, I won't be retaliated on by the werewolf, but I will be first thing next turn. But also I should... Oh shit, I didn't kill that guy. Do I survive? No, poison still kills me. Alright, um, it could be a good thing that he survives because I'm going to have to heal at some point. Yeah, okay, it's actually a good thing that he survives. Okay, if, if I can get Defense Boost 2 to trigger more often at the end there, I can actually survive. This is Again, this is how I'm doing it. If you guys have like Sleep Resist or... I don't know, a lot of other things. But, 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 but. Okay, so same again, we're gonna, just going to tap the Poison guy because he's our safest bet. Tap, 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 tap. Actually, I suppose alternatively, we could tap the Paralysis guy and then just pray for good RNG that we can still use all our attacks, never get poisoned, and then... Um, okay, let's use... I forgot to use Pluto, so let's use him here instead. Tap again. Be poisoned again for the third time. Then kill the two weaker archers with Riku. And again, we're just going to pray for paralysis. Um, for defense boost 2 to save us now. So we didn't get enough. And I'm going to be killed by poison again. Okay. What if we try to attack the paralysis guy instead? And then just pray for good RNG. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so let's try tapping Paralysis Guy, and again, all we can do is just beg for decent RNG. We can't even tap the Poison Guy once. Okay, so... Okay, that was nice, so the RNG actually was perfect there, it skipped... Actually, actually, if we skip the medals in between, that's, o that's only a good thing, because Paralysis may actually wear off. So we'll tap him again. He's going to paralyze me again. I'm going to tap him one more time and hope that Riku gets to attack now. Riku does get to attack. And hopefully he can take out... Ah, oh, I was going to say hopefully he can take out this, the poison guy, but he can't because he's the wrong attribute. Shit. So I'm still going to be poisoned no matter what. And poison's going to kill me. Damn it. If we were just that little bit stronger... Just, just a little bit stronger, as in, like, we didn't have to use Piglet... If you guys have Illustrated Kairi, you're actually in a pretty good spot because uh, Illustrated KH1 Kairi, because you will be that much stronger and maybe you can borrow Dark Riku like I can, maybe it's got ground resist like mine does, and uh, <laughs> maybe you can take out that poison guy. Because all we have to do, all we have to do is survive one turn, then just get lucky. All right, let's try again, let's try again. A few more defense boosts and we may be able to survive. Alright. Maybe I'll unpause if I'm getting anywhere. Like, I'll pause for now, just do some tests, and then unpause if I have any luck. And share it with you guys. Oh, let's find out. Actually, I'll do one more with you guys, just to, just to explain my thought process. So, again, if we get paralyzed, and as long as we get to fire off at least one Pluto, we're okay. So, let's just fire this one off. Hopefully skip the next one. Okay, we don't skip it, but that's it's okay. Again, we can't tap anyone else, or they'll either poison us or put us to sleep. We can't even use any other special attacks here, unfortunately. We just we have to use Dark Riku, but it's not going to be enough. Eh. Because it, it, it can't do any more damage. It's already at an attack boost 3 max. It's not going to suddenly pull any more damage out of nowhere. But again, maybe, maybe defense boost will trigger. Okay, I'm triggered there. No, nope, not enough. <laughs> I actually got critically hit. <laughs> okay, 
I uh, just had a quick peek at the avatar boards, by the way. Uh, I saw a second chance to attack boost 3 max and SP gauge 1, which is very nice, and uh, attack boost 4. From what I hear, from what I hear, second chance and attack boost 2 can potentially both trigger. Sorry, second chance and second chance 2 can both trigger in the same fight. I've never actually confirmed that myself, but from what I hear, they can both trigger in the same fight. Which means if you bring in something with second chance and second chance two, allegedly, even if you do get poisoned, because you guys saw if second chance brings you back and you're poisoned, poison will still kill you. Allegedly, you can survive if you have both and they both trigger, which, you know, second chance two is a pretty good trigger rate. You're really only hoping for second chance one to trigger at the same time. Again, I haven't actually confirmed that myself, but... Maybe I'll do some testing before I advise that strategy for you guys. Alright, I'm going to keep running this until maybe I get lucky with Defense Boost 2. And I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Okay, this is without a doubt the ugliest setup I've ever run. So what I've got is I've got Piglet out the front to boost my defense. Kyrie, which I'm just tapping with just for now. Uh, some way of raising both my speed and magic based strength, which is, well, the speed, the magic part's not really important, but the speed part is because without it, I actually ended up switching over to a Halloween Sora, which is able to take out, uh, all of the little guys. This is, <laughs> this is completely ridiculous. I'll, I'll show you what I mean, because I'll probably die here and have to do it again anyway, but I've actually survived one turn now with everything dead and I'm paralyzed, so... What I need to happen is, he's only got two hits on him before he retaliates. I need to heal. I need to heal. So... Use that there. And I'm going to be probably killed in a second anyway. So he's going to retaliate, and I'm not going to be able to survive it. Hopefully I can survive it. If I can get lots of defense boost triggers, that'd be really nice. Well, I got six defense boost triggers, and it's... It still wasn't enough. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow. Alright, I'll, I'll show you what I was doing then, because I've... I kind of like the strategy, but it's it's too expensive. It's very, very expensive. Alright, I'll show you what I'm doing. This is so convoluted. I didn't think it was going to be this tricky. Oh well. Alright, I'll show you what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope you guys have got a way easier time than I'm having with this. That's probably a way easy solution that I'm not even thinking of as well. Alright, so I'm still going after Paralysis Guy. I'm still tapping with him. He's going to paralyze me back. And then I'm... If I just use this metal on its own, with Attack Boost 4 Max, it doesn't do enough damage to kill the Poison Guy, and then I end up dying to Poison. So I need to boost my speed based strength, which I'm going to do with a single target metal, which is this one here. So I've got a single target metal, which isn't going to trigger the rest of them to activate. Shit. Um, so I kind of needed her... I kind of needed her to help me survive here, but I'll try to use Pluto instead. It's going to paralyze me again. I'm going to tap, and then hopefully I'm going to get to fire this off. Okay, so with attack boost 4 max, I am able to take... All these little weenie guys out, they're all dead, which is nice. And with... Okay, so I'm alive now. Again, he's got two hits on him, so... Maybe I shouldn't even... If I can somehow attack with Piglet, better be skipped, that'd be really nice. No, it's gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna try and heal up, and again, I'm just gonna die. So I need my defense boost to come earlier, actually. And no defense boost triggered there. <laughs> I feel like it's doable. I've just got to get into a really good rhythm. All right, I'll try one more time. Okay, I I think, I think, I think, I think I might have it. I think I might have it. All right, so essentially I had to get very lucky. I don't even know what I've done. I've been trying this for like an hour now. I just have like Netflix on and, and doing this absentmindedly, which is probably not the best idea. Okay, I don't even really want to attack him because he's going to retaliate and then retaliate again. So I'm just going to tap here. So now the problem is I've got to like whittle his 38 bars of health down. Hoping that I don't get screwed over by 
poisons or what have you. So the only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is keeping myself at as much power-based defense as possible. All right, I think I'm going to be okay. I think. So now I'm going to be at plus six. Okay, I'll try and think about what the hell I just did. Okay, so I ended up using freaking Dr. Jamba Jumba Jumbo, whatever his name is, to... I had to strike this really delicate balance between how much damage this, this metal here was going to do, because I couldn't have it kill the paralyzing guy, because I needed someone to take my single hits so that I could just give myself a little bit of power-based defense before he retaliated. It's a mess. I'll try and... I'll try and explain it. Alright. Heal. So he's going to... I'm at plus six right now. So this should do absolutely nothing. Beautiful. And it did do absolutely nothing. Now i gotta be got to be really careful here. Really careful because... I'm going to use this attack again. And I'm going to be at plus seven right now. But a lot of that's going to wear off. A lot of it's going to wear off. So I need to always be... He needs to always have four hits on the clock so that I can use my piglet and then use two rounds of that to make sure I'm safe before he retaliates. So he's at nine right now, so I'm gonna use this, he'll go down to eight. He'll use this, he'll go down to seven. No, so if I actually use this, he'll go down to two. If I use that, he'll go down to one. And then if I use that, I'll be at probably plus four. And then he'll retaliate. I really don't want to, I don't even want to risk it. I don't even want to risk it. Alright, I'm just going to be really, really safe for this next turn. Shit, he's at plus one power. Is he going to keep any stronger? Alright, I'm at plus two power defense right now. So if I use Cinderella and Jack again, I should be at plus four at the end of this turn. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, this is, this is ridiculous, but <laughs> that's what I have to do. Oh, okay. This could be like, I could just really, really slowly do this and like literally whittle his health down with Kyrie. 7,000 a turn. And I, I might actually have to. <laughs> okay, I'm at a ludicrous amount of power based defense right now. I should be at plus 7 already. Yeah, I am. So I'm always going to use both Cinderella's and Jack's so I carry on the next turn at as high as possible. Okay, that's a pretty good damage, so he's going to retaliate and then actually use the end of turn retaliation, so... But I think I should be safe. I think I should be safe now, so long as I can always use double cast Pluto, I should always be safe. Holy shit, guys, this has taken so long. <laughs> this has taken so freaking long to do. But I think I've, I think I've finally got an answer to it, which is good. And then I'm going to look on Reddit or whatever and find a really obvious solution that I've just totally missed, but whatever, I don't care. As long as, <laughs> as long as I can get through it. Okay. The, okay, what's the downside? Extra attack and extra attack. I don't know how super necessary they are. I don't think they're like all that necessary, but they certainly helped. They certainly helped. Um, but I do reckon you guys should be able to do this even if you don't have extra attack in all the right places. It might just take a bit longer. Like, I'm, I'm happy to whittle his health down now because I'm at plus seven. But if I wasn't that high, I might be a bit more fearful of it, if that makes sense. But I'm in a really good rhythm now. I should just be able to clear this quest. And then we can try 13. We haven't even got to 13 yet. Good lord. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I wish I was recording that, like, getting to this point, but... It took a fair few tries, so I wasn't even really sure this turn was going to be the one that worked. It got, I got quite lucky. I got quite lucky. Um, I'll try and run through it again so you can see what I did, but all I really did was the same as always. I just um, used my single target attacks on the paralysis guy, and that was it. That's it. I just didn't want to be poisoned. Um, so I used a single target attack on the, on the guy. I used this to get me plus two power based defense. I didn't use Kari, I just tapped the Paralysis guy again. I used this on the Paralysis guy, like actually used him. I d no, I didn't use either of these two. I mean, I, I just tapped, I tapped and tapped. And then I finally used um, Halloween Sora, which killed all three of the, no, I didn't, it didn't call, it didn't kill all three of the um, archers. And then did I start recording now? Or did I wait a bit longer to record? I can't remember. But basically, I just made sure I just made sure I didn't get paralyzed, uh, poisoned. That's all I had to make sure I was doing, <laughs> just not being not being poisoned. 
Okay, and with that, battery's almost dead, but I should be able to... 16%, oh boy. Hopefully, if Quest 13 doesn't take me too long, hopefully I can get a video <laughs> all in one piece. How long is this one? I have no idea. I've been recording, quote-unquote, for two and a half hours. Which is half a season of Rick and Morty. <laughs> Alright, this is it. This is it, finally. My god. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to say, like, it took forever, it took forever, but I could do it, just by whittling him down. And luckily I had that, um, that shared metal, that really helped save the day. Oh, goodness me. I mean, I, this is overkill to finish him off, but I just wanted to do it, just to be doubly sure. Woohoo! And we have completed Quest 12, free to play, without having to continue. Whew. That was fun. <laughs> Again, I've got extra attack on two high score challenge medals, which is a bit shitty, but... I mean, it's done. Free to play, it's done. <laughs> Again, um, if you had some sleep resist or paralysis resist or poison resist medals, you could probably RNG it a different way. If you've got IVV, you'd probably find things a lot easier because you would have a gauge restore, a buff, all in one medal. It's 500? Are you kidding me? 300, 325, 350, and then they just make it 500 anyway. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, I ended up switching to Divine Rose just to get a little bit more power out of... Well, the, the slots made more sense to me. Alright, let's try Counterpoint again. And let's try... The setup we've been using this far. Okay, so we're at plus six. Yeah, that's right. Let's let's give it a go. I can't even remember what I was doing. It's been that long. All right, here we go. Okay, sorry. It's just on my first try. I just wanted to make sure. Um, do not disturb. We're still on. Okay. Oh, far out. My God. So he's going to retaliate after five hits. Okay, so the the ogre is going to be our little whipping boy. Oh shit! I should have um. Should have uh, Ariel and Flounder with second chance. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wipe this one, but. If he. Is he gonna paralyze me? Because if he does, it's gonna suck. <laughs> Alright, I'm at plus five power based defense. So he's gonna do nothing in return, but he is gonna paralyze me, which is gonna piss me right off. And now he's gonna retaliate. I'm at plus six. Well, plus five. So it's gonna do a bit, but not. Not the end of the world. Wonder, can I take out. This, um, Jewel Durandai, whatever his name is. That might be my main focus, to take him out first, and then just try and live every other hit. I should have brought Ariel and Flander, I would have sped this... Wow, one damage, there you go. And I'm poisoned, lovely! Oh, lovely, that's really nice, I'm poisoned as well. Okay, let's bring in Ariel and Flander. God, fuck this game. Alright, I'm just deciding on the friend metal to use again. Um... Part of me wants to use an area of attack metal, but I think that might not be the best choice. I might just have to go with Ursula HD for a while. Um, even though, as you can see, it did literally one damage before. I'm hoping that with Ariel and Flounder, making my attacks a bit stronger, hopefully it will do some more damage, but let's find out. Okay, so the downside, of course, is that... Um, obviously that hit is gonna, the Aerial and Flounder hit is gonna hit everyone, meaning their attacks are gonna trigger a bit, a bit sooner. But at the same time, I'm a little bit stronger, so hopefully the trade-off is worth it. Wolfie's gonna retaliate, but it should do roughly the same amount of damage. Yeah, wow, about half. Uh, shit, I was hoping to get, um, Cinderella and Jack there to get a little heal from that, so we're gonna be, shit, wrong one. Wrong one. Okay, let's just find out. Does Cindy and Jack do any damage now? Attack boost 2, and them at plus 3. A little bit. <laughs> Did a little bit. And I get absolutely shredded. Didn't get poisoned that time, though. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so now begins the process of figuring out if this setup is actually going to work. I've got a shitload of defense. I just want to try and take out that... Like one of the enemies as soon as possible. That'd be really nice, but it, it, it can't be the Ogre. It's got 56 bars of freaking HP. 
so it can't be the ogre. I'm gonna try and take out the swordman guy, and then hopefully, hopefully that'll be all right. Because yeah, it can't be the wolf either. The wolf's gonna retaliate constantly, and I can't have that. All right, I'm gonna keep trying, guys, and I'll let you know how it goes. Here's a problem. So that swordsman guy has only got one hit left in him, and if I want to use Kyrie, uh, Arion Flander here, I'm gonna trigger that. Doesn't give me a heal, does it? No. Oh. Let's YOLO it and hopefully survive, because I think with two defense boost twos, I should live it. Oh, sorry, one. Okay, there we go. So with one, I did actually live it. That's nice. Got my heals off, and now I get to heal and heal again. And I get to heal one more time with Pluto, and then he's going to... Werewolf's going to retaliate. There's no risk of being paralyzed. Well, I guess there is a risk of being paralyzed. I get to heal again with Cinderella and Jack, which is very nice, and now I'm at plus four power base defense, so I should have... Plenty of survivability. Okay. I'm pretty able to survive now. And now I just got to start whittling the enemies now. Beautiful attack boost 2 is triggered again. That is really nice. Taking off 8 bars of HP. Actually, I nearly attacked the swordsman there, but I chose against it because he's only got 2 hits on him. And that means I can very, very safely use Aerial Flounder. And Kyrie next turn if I survive. Oof. I really hope I never get... Paralyzed. Phew. Now he's going to retaliate. I should be at plus four power base defense though, right? Right? Maybe not. I'm only at plus one, so they must wipe off a lot of my defense. Ah, oh, shit. Now the wolf's going to retaliate, and I'm only at plus three. Now down to plus two. Damn it! Second chance. Come on. Where have you been all day? I've not had second chance trigger once this entire video, even off camera. All right. Let's keep going. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I have like 2% battery left, not even, I've got, I think, literally 1%. I'm hanging on to my phone charger, uh, but the point is, I think I've finally freaking done it. It's taken me literally 4 hours, but that's alright, i got some work done in the meantime. Fuck battery, don't you dare die now. Don't you dare, I've got to do, get 2 attacks off and then I'm done. 1, come on baby, come on baby, last, last, please god. Okay, it's dead. Please just save. <laughs> Alright, I'll guilt it later when the battery's alive. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but yes, I did it free to play. Completely free to play. Um, uh, Ariel, Pluto. Please, God, don't die. <laughs> okay, 2% battery left. I should be okay. <laughs> this frame rate's probably non existent right now. Hopefully, my voice is still coming through. But point is Sykes, stage 13, completed, free to play. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, I'm going to upload this right now. Uh, good luck, guys. Uh, hit me up on the Discord if you need help. Woo! That took a while. All right, so I'll, I'll quickly look at, look at my setup real quick. <laughs> Far out. That's crazy. All right, I'm just really worried that the, uh, the battery's not going to last long enough to actually save this video file. All right, but you can see my setup there, and I borrowed a Riku with Ground Resist and HP+. Plus. Um, all right, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.